Hello, YouTube. This is Gothic King of Chill with another video. Now, if you've seen Paranormal Activity, it's a good movie. And I thought it was a good movie until I found out it was all fake and scripted. I'm like, oh, fuck. But here's an interesting fact. That when a ghost gets enough power behind it, it can actually do the things you see in scary, in scary movies like Paranormal Activity. It can do stuff, stuff like that. If there's enough energy in the air, anyway. So, yeah. So, yeah. Now, most of you don't believe in ghosts. I'm not going to persecute you for it. Most people don't believe in ghosts until they have their actual ghostly encounter. I've had too many to cover in one of my long, in my, any of my long videos, actually. A lot of ghostly encounters myself. And, um... It's pretty cool to experience. But, um... Your first ghostly encounter is definitely going to make you think out of the realm of normal thinking. It's going to change the way you look at life. So, yeah. Let's share with you my first ghostly encounter experience, though. Now, the two houses I lived in in North Dakota were both haunted before I moved here. I can guarantee you this. The first one was a lot older. Had a more positive environment, just kind of, it's there, you know, environment. The second one had a more negative, evil feeling to it, I guess, which I thought they were both fun to live in. But, um, lived in this first house, right? And got the upstairs of the house. And here's, like, the kitchen area, or the dining room, I should say, the dining room. And here's the kitchen, then you wrap around there. It comes around to the office area. And then it goes from the office area all the way around to my sister's room, and then into the hallway... Bathroom, parents room, back in the living room, and in the kitchen, or the dining room. So it's a complete circle, basically. Old, old, old house. And then from the kitchen area, downstairs is the basement, and then all that, you know. Anyway, uh, we had a hutch that my mom had gotten through a will of one of her great, great aunts just died. And in the living room area, there's the hutch on one side, against the wall like that. Like, flat against the wall like that. I should be on this side if you look at the camera. On this side. On one side was this wooden thing right here that we used to hold cereal bags. On this side. But you go over this side, there's a little movie cabinet. So I'm over throwing something away in the garbage. I kind of throw it and I look over. And as, at the beginning of the hutch, a ghost appears. Full bodied. Hair cut to about down to here came around like that, like I had in the 30s, you know. A flowing pajama gown, kind of a round face, you know. Empty eyes, you know, just... And it was definitely a female figure, and older looking, I, I should say. Well, all full body appeared from at, over here, walked right across the hutch on, on the front of it, got to the end of the hutch by this cabinet right here, and just disappeared. While watching this, my mouth literally fell to the floor, like, holy crap. And every time I've had a ghostly encounter, all the sound shuts off. I can't hear anything. I'm just kind of, you know, because um, my dad was watching TV. He was on the couch in the living room watching TV. And I'm like, Dad, did you see that? He's like, see what? He didn't see it. And I looked at the ghost like, holy shit, this is actually happening. And then... The TV, I, I didn't hear it. It was on mute. It was on pretty loud, actually. So, yeah. I, you know, that really definitely challenged my thinking, you know. And um, before that, I got started to you know, study the paranormal. I got into the whole ghost and poltergeist thing. It became a fascination of mine. It has been ever since. I know everything there is to know. And then some. I always learn something new every time. You know, sometimes I learn something new about ghosts. But anyway, yeah. And a couple months later, my grandparents came to visit, and we're all sitting around the table, just talking. And this is one of those old houses that has, you know, a wooden shelf that kind of comes over like that, up near the ceiling. Picture, <laughs> flat on its face. <coughs> In front of everyone. Oh, <laughs> look up. Whatever. Tip it back up. No big deal. I mean, I've had a little bit of everything as far as the ghostly encounters go. I've seen orbs. I've seen half-body, full-body apparitions. I've seen chunks of apparition bodies have smells um i've had the um 
you know, where the loved ones come to see you and your dreams tell you they're all right when they're dead. That's, you know. So, yeah, I've had a lot of ghostly encounters. And it's pretty cool shit, actually, when you have your first ghostly encounter. It's kind of like sex, because I've never had sex. But comparatively speaking, you have to be the most amazing thing in the world because it challenges your, your realm of thinking. I'm still a virgin. But it's just a life-changing experience, I should say, when you get your first ghostly encounter. Um, yeah. And just recently, in the house I lived in before this one, I was home watching my sister Sam. We were, you know, she was clearing pictures in the basement, just whatever, you know. All of a sudden, we heard footfalls upstairs that sounded like boots, you know. And my sister Sam said, "Mommy and Daddy are home." I'm like, no, they're not home because I recognize if they were home, I would have heard them talking. And I knew what what was going to happen. She was like, "For your fourth time," and she would have got upstairs and saw nobody. We both heard it, and it would have freaked the fuck out of her. So I told her to stay downstairs. I'll go see if they're home. And then I walked upstairs and there's nobody home. And yeah. A lot of times I come home to that house and I'm the only one home <coughs> after school and whatnot. And <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> and I hear voices talking, a conversation. I'd be like, hello, is anybody here? Hello, hello. I went through the entire house and nobody was home. And this house hasn't had any ghostly encounters, unfortunately. Although some of my videos I've seen that door back there open by itself when I thought I closed it all the way. I mean, it's just because the hinge is loose. I don't know. The point being, people, is if you ever get a chance to have a ghostly encounter, take it. It might freak you out at first, but once you have your first ghostly encounter, it will change your mind. It will mind, it will mind fuck you. Literally, just wow. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've had a number of ghostly encounters, and it's fun, you know? And every time I have a ghostly encounter, like, I actually see... There's all the sound around me shuts off. I'm kind of just focused on that ghost, you know, whatever it's doing, and then it just disappears and the sound turns back on. It's really a cool experience to have. So, yeah. Too many ghostly encounters to listen in one YouTube video, that's for damn sure. <laughs> but anyway, if you've ever had a chance to, to experience ghosts or go ghost hunting, you know, take it because it can literally change your mind on the whole ghost and, you know. <coughs> But some people refuse to see that they exist. Some people are too scared to see it. They're just like, no, I don't want to believe it. You know, it's because they're taught to believe that ghosts don't exist. They can't hurt you if they did, which is a complete and total crock of crap because they do exist and they can't hurt you. I've seen it happen. It's pretty intense shit, <laughs> you know. Um. So, and of course, I know how that goes, right? Your kid's four or five years old having, you know, nightmares, if you will. Mommy, there's a monster in the closet, you know. Parents are trying to have sex or wind down from the day just to have a long time or whatever. And the kid comes in at 2 o'clock saying, Mommy, there's a monster in my closet. Yeah, it's okay, okay, come in and sleep with us tonight. And you're just thinking, damn, I was going to have sex. You know, I know how that goes. But it's only going to scare them twice as bad when they grow up and actually have a real ghostly encounter. You know what I'm saying? Because when they're a kid, they're taught the comfort zone of ghosts don't exist. And if they did, they can't hurt you, you know. And then they're in a haunted house or whatever, and a ghost scratches them or yells at them or scares the shit out of them. They're going, wait a minute, I was I was taught not to believe in this shit, and it actually exists, you know? So quite often, sometimes telling the truth, or lying, I should say, doesn't really help. It just makes things worse. But... So do you believe in ghosts? I have a thick, I mean, a piling collection of ghost books in my in my room right now. That I have to get to read. I've only finished one, and I've got several of them to read, you know. I love reading about that stuff. It's really fascinating. Just hearing about different stories and whatnot. So if you believe in ghosts, you know, it's cool because you need to. You, sh you start believing now, when you actually have a real encounter, it won't be as scary. You know what I'm saying? You won't be like, holy shit, you know, a ghost. You know, because really, you're taught to not to believe in ghosts. And um, and then you actually have a real encounter that scares you twice as bad. So, yeah. But yeah, that, that first ghostly encounter definitely opened my mind. I mean, I started getting into it, you know. I, and you know, and then the first ghost I encountered was a full body apparition. It was like the holy grail of ghostly encounters. A full body apparition apparitions are hardly ever seen when you're 
ghost hunting. And most of you guys probably get an orb or a hand or a voice, you know, or a smell. And how do ghosts work? Well, there are theories that state that electricity in the air is sucked up and absorbed in the atmosphere, and that's how ghosts used to manifest it. But sometimes ghosts have been known not to manifest it without energy in the air, like an old abandoned house. You'll see a ghost walk by, and you'll go, What the fuck is that? That's cool. You want to see a really good ghost episode of a ghost hunter show? I recommend, um, what's it called? Ghost Adventures with those three dudes, you know? Wolf Manor is my favorite episode because it has the most evidence documented. And there's a lot of ghost shows that get those um, abandoned asylums and they hit those up and ghost hunt and they're pretty good too. But check out Wolf Manor by Ghost Adventures, it's a really good episode. And if I were to do a ghost show, I'd just do it strictly for the for the scientific, you know, evidence. I wouldn't do it for ratings, because all those ghost shows, so, oh, what the fuck was that? Did you just fucking beep it? You know, there's just a bunch of beeps, because you beep out the cussing, because it's not allowed on TV or whatever, you know? So, quite often, while they're hearing a ghost do whatever, it could be anything. It could be, you know, they hear a... And they think, oh my god, it's a ghost. What the fuck was that? Did you fucking hear that? Oh my god, what the fuck, you know? So it's a beep, 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 you know? And it could be anything from a ghost to a... A critter crawling in the walls or the house just settling. Case and point most haunted. That show. Fuck it. Okay. I used to get, I used to watch that show. I mean it's good for a cheap a cheap scare. But if you want a more serious ghost show, check out Ghost Adventures, Taps, you know. Shows like that. I mean they do get scared, but at least they have the evidence to back it up, not just going off assuming that it's a ghost, you know? And every time I've I see most haunted on the TV listings. I think, hmm, I don't think they've gotten any better. The only thing I see that changes is Yvette Fielding's hair and the way they transit between scenes and whatnot. But it's still the same cheesy, you know, drama and whatnot. I don't know. Although, Most Haunted is not a bad ghost show. They have had a couple of episodes I really like. Um, the um, State Penitentiary was good, you know. But when you're off cussing and they have to beep it out, you know. And you hear another ghost supposedly wink wink, you cuss even more because you freak, freak the fuck over a simple tapping. I've seen ghosts do a lot of crazy shit, and tapping on a wall is the least, if not hardly, is not dangerous at all. Ghosts can throw you across the room, scratch you, rape you, burn you, kill you, throw you against the ch a wall, possess you, all this horrible, horrible shit, and they're freaking all over a. What the fuck was that? Did you fucking hear that? You know? So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of show like that, but one episode they had filmed was kind of suspicious where they transited between scenes. Supposedly a chair moved across the hall, and the cameras were on, would split, would split between the crew upstairs and the people in command base, if you will. And supposedly the chair moved. It's believable, but the way they filmed it made it look like they could have done it just for cheesy ratings, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to watch a ghost show, watch one that has a taste it serious so it doesn't just, you know, cuss every 10 seconds because they hear a tapping on the wall. Because really, a tapping on the wall is nothing compared to what ghosts can really do. Which is kind of funny because as humans we want superpowers, but we don't get them until we're actual spirits, you know? And it's really a fascinating subject if you ever get the chance to read on it. <coughs> Just damn Santa's cough go away, but it will eventually. And I have a Ouija board. I tried it. I don't think I was doing it right, but I don't know. The point being is, do you believe in ghosts? I believe 100%. But not everything you see or hear is a ghost. If you go off into a case assuming everything is a ghost, you know, you'll get everything that seems like a ghost. But if you get scientific research behind it, trying to just claim all of it, you know, you'll get the the situations you can't explain away that make you really think. Because not everything you see or hear is a ghost, obviously. Otherwise, everywhere would be haunted, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Anyway, this is Gothic King 